Okay, here with me is uh, Ms. Shi Li Te. Uh, she's the director of the uh, International Affairs Office, NISMAS, and we're so happy to have you here. And she will introduce you about NISMAS and its programs. So I'll leave the time to you. Uh, thank you. I'm uh, Ms. Shi Li Te, and I'm the director of the International Affairs Office from NISMAS. So let me introduce, uh, introduce uh, our lab. And so we have the uh, International Academy on Joint Information of Wuhan University. Uh, it's supported by the State Key Laboratory of Information Engineering, Surveying, Mapping, and Remote Sensing. That's in short, this month is an all English educational platform for the international students providing high level academic education in just spatial information science. So it's based on the China's the Belt and Road Strategy aims at supporting Wuhan University to build a world-class university and to create a world-class discipline and to form a global cooperation mechanism for the geospatial information industry under the UNGGIM Global Education Framework. It has um, about um, eight years uh, history, that is, that is for IAG, and for this month we have uh, over 30 years history. So it begins Begins in 2015, and uh, we launched our first development plan and a detailed construction plan. And um, <clears throat> in October 2015, the UNSD officials visited the IAG for the first time. And in November that year, we reported to the Ministry of Commerce, applied for the Ministry of Commerce Education Funding Program, but a little bit pity, uh, we failed. And in December, we presented at UNGGIM working meeting at the uh, UN headquarters in New York. And in 2016, uh, from uh, February to March, uh, we promote our admissions promotion uh, program application and enrollment work in full swing. And in September of that year, uh, we have uh, the first batch of students with 12 masters and five PhDs. And in April 2017, uh, SCGI double master program with Barapa University and Jista Thailand. Uh, we have the uh, students from uh, that program. And in October 2020, Timo Baus, that's a German professor at Blitz Mars, was appointed as the associate dean of IAG. So we have uh, several um, participating organizations. Uh, it's led by our lab and followed by uh, some schools uh, in joint information science field. So currently we have total uh, student of uh, 105, um, master candidates uh, 59 and uh, 46 PhD candidates. And for the master uh, candidates, we have the normal admission of uh, 47 and the 12 are from the double degree programs that is space program and CGI program. Uh, SCGI program, uh, sorry, uh, space program is uh, coordinated with uh, Technical University of Munich, Germany. And uh, <clears throat> it, this program has run for 12 years and uh, we have uh, enrolled uh, German six German students and uh, three of them graduated. And the SGI Master Double Degree Program that's coordinated with Thailand. Um, the cooperation agreement was signed in April 2017. And uh, right now we have uh, 35 students from Thailand, Cambodia, and Laos under this program with uh, two, uh, 25 students already graduated. So we have um, a variety, uh, our students come uh, from a variety of um, uh, different countries are uh, like um, Thailand, Algeria, Pakistan, Egypt, and Nepal, and uh, the China Algeria satellite program, the China Thailand SCGI program, and individual students uh, and the individual students from Pakistan are the main sources of our international students. And the European students come via the uh, Dragon program, the China German Master Double Degree program, and through the summer school. Others are mainly from Africa or the Belt and Road countries. So each year, uh, we have uh, 24 full English courses covering a wide range of disciplines such as earth science, geophysics, 
mapping science and technology and geography, and more than 10 famous overseas scholars come to teach regularly each year. So you see uh, Wolfgang Kranz, uh, he has signed a um, uh, four years uh, contract with us while uh, JP Barriott, uh, he has signed a long-term um, working contract uh, with Wuhan University and will start to work the next year. So uh, as you see, you can, uh, our teaching uh, team has a, a highly qualified lecturers and we also have the uh, team of young teachers and also CEOs. Uh, the CEOs are coming to teach the case studies. So it shows that we create a diverse and innovative teaching and a research culture to ensure the best support for our students. And uh, for the uh, students study atmosphere and environment, uh, you see, we have the uh, student uh, organizations such as the Geo Science Cafe, and also we have a student innovation scholarship that's mm -hmm. provided by our lab, and also international uh, PhD forum organized also by the lab. And uh, we have uh, also the uh, experience sharing <coughs> uh, cases uh, that's for all the students, both for Chinese and uh, foreign students. So we actively uh, promote the academic culture of the laboratory and create a strong atmosphere for innovation. And we have um, <clears throat> uh, abundant academic exchanges. Uh, English Geoscience Cafe is founded and self-organized by Chinese and foreign graduate students. And since 2017, Five international doctoral forums on geospatial information science have been organized. And in 2020, the laboratory launched the Star Lake Lecture Forum, which is the new way of many online communication. It's born under the academic conditions. So the forum invites world-renowned scholars to focus on the frontiers of the discipline. So uh, the summer schools are um, it's one of the ways for our enrollment pro promotion. So from 2011 until now, there are 12 international summer schools uh, being conducted. And starting in 2020, the summer school was switched to online due to the epidemic. The number of participants thus broke through the funding limit and more and more participants had the opportunity to get to know Wuhan University. And in 2023, uh, uh, that's this year, our summer school came back for offline activities. Every year, some international students have learned about our international student program through the summer school and then applied to study in the program. And since 2017, five international doctoral forum on geospatial information science have been organized. The forum is held in cooperation with Peking University and the universities in Hong Kong for the International Doctoral Forum on Geospatial Information Science. And uh, we have the uh, Star Lake Award. Uh, this award is given to uh, international students with outstanding academic performance. We also encourage ex external exchanges and support students with excellent research achievements to participate in international conferences. So you see, uh, these are our graduated students. Uh, so they are the excellent uh, doctoral students. Uh, these three examples are all from the uh, class 2017. Nima is a special one. Uh, she is from Tanzania, who graduated in June and 20, uh, 2020. Uh, she was, uh, she is the first uh, Tanzania PhD student in the field of mapping and uh, remote sensing. And she is still active in promoting and participate in China-Africa related scientific interactions. And is also a young editorial board member of GSIS. GSIS is an English language academic journal hosted by Wuhan University. And this year, uh, GSIS uh, is an um, uh, SCI index journal, and this year it uh, enters uh, JCR one, top one. 
and uh, <clears throat> about 18 Algerian master students, they are all from the Space Technic Center. They have returned to their home countries and have become technical backbones of their organizations. And some of them have taken up leadership positions. Prosper, uh, he's of uh, class of uh, 2018, is a Zimbabwean um, national student, uh, went to work for De Qing Geomatics Town after graduation and was the town's first African employee. Harris, class of uh, 2018 in Pakistan, and went to work as a full-time faculty member at Shandong Construction University after graduation. So we have other graduated students uh, continue their PhD programs at Wuhan University or other universities in China. So uh, how about our student selection? And uh, IIG receives over 100 applications each year. The students are selected based on strict submitted application materials, inspection, and also online interviews from January to March. If you have any questions, you may contact us at IGEO at whu.edu.cn. And we welcome uh, applicants from uh, photogrammetry and remote sensing, uh, mapping and uh, cartographic engineering, and geodesy and geomatics. So why you must choose us? Because uh, for remote sensing, we continuously rank the first uh, from uh, 2017 to, 2000, uh, to this year, the uh, top, top one uh, place in remote sensing. And so I think we are the best. Um, please do not hesitate to choose us. Thank you.